for the times that we have not shared his love with others. We ask him now for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came among us to show us our Father's love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you died on the cross that we might live with you forever. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you pray for us at the right hand.
disciples of Jesus said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover supper? He sent two of his disciples, and he said to them, Go into the city, and the man will be carrying the jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, the teacher says, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them, and they prepared Passover supper. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them to say, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup and he gave thanks and he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed. For men. <coughs> Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Blessed, very good. Everybody add to that. Not only 
is going to come to you. The bread of life is the cup of our salvation, of our grace. I want you kids to take a look at your hands. Open your hands like this and take a look. In a little while, you're going to come up the aisle, and I'm going to say to you, the body of Christ. What's your answer to that? <laughs> you see how well trained you can do <laughs> Amen. And then, you're going to accept Jesus in your hands. And you're going to gently place that sacred host in your mouth. And that is going to become part of you. Some of you may come up this aisle, and when I say the body of Christ and you answer amen, I may just simply place it in your mouth, if that's the way you prefer it, on your tongue. And again, Jesus is going to Some of you, after you receive the body of Christ, you're going to move to another minister. And they will say to you, the blood of Christ. And what's the answer to that? Amen. And you'll take that cup and you'll take a drink from it. And Jesus becomes part of you. Does anybody know? Why Jesus wants to become a part of you? Why he wants you to receive him in your hearts today? Oh boy, that's the best answer. And I know no one could hear you, but because you said it right to me, because he loves you. That is exactly right. That is why he's coming to you today, because he loves you. And does Jesus want anything in return from you? Does he want anything in return from you? He wants you to love him. That's right. That's why he becomes a part of you today. Because he loves you and he wants you to love him.